What's up OGs, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in today's video I want to talk about the importance of humility in martial arts. So before I get started, give this video a thumbs up of course if you, if you like it and of course subscribe to my channel, at least consider subscribing if you haven't already. I make multiple videos uh, discussing multiple videos a week on fitness and martial arts for older guys. So let's dive into this subject here. Now, I'm making this video because in social media, like I've noticed a lot of guys like really go, like I find they, they post stuff and sometimes they say stuff and, and they go a little bit crazy because I, I find that they, they feel as though because they practice um, you know, a certain martial art, they feel maybe they're, they're invincible, so to speak, you know, that they're, they're, they're like the real deal. They're tough and stuff like that. And that's where I, I think that it's important to, to like check yourself before you wreck yourself in a sense, right? Because when you really think about it, martial arts, right, is... It, it, it comes from war. Like, that's where this comes from, martial arts. Like, it's a war thing. And war is very uh, encompassing in the sense that, what I mean by that is, there's a lot to it. It's not just unarmed combat, right? And the thing is, nobody is, um, no man is invincible. So, whatever martial art you practice, no matter how good you are, you could be world champion, Olympic champion, multiple, like you'll never be invincible. Like all it would take, the strongest man in the world, all it takes is a bullet and you're dead, right? Or even multiple attackers on you, you know, even if you're, even if you're super big, 300 pounds, uh, seven foot five, you know, like if there's 10, 20 guys against you and then with weapons, you're gonna die. So, or just one dude with a gun, you're gonna die. Or even with a car, it runs you over, you're gonna die. Or throws a grenade and it blows up in your face, you're gonna die, you know? Or just, like there's so many ways to die, that's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> and nobody's invincible. So that's why you got, like I find that being humble is important because yes, as martial artists, is, we practice a martial art. And to me, the definition of a, of, of a martial artist is someone who practices fighting to better themselves, to, for self, for personal development, to become a better person, to have better control over their body and their mind, right? And of course, like the benefit of that is to be able to fight. Now, and then after that, you're a martial artist when, you know, that's my definition of a, a martial artist. Now, uh, a lot of fighters are martial artists and and there are martial artists that aren't fighters, but that's okay. So even, and, and of course, there's some martial arts that are more effective in certain circumstances than others. So that being said, like, if you practice a martial art that's um, effective, you know, let's say in the context of uh, MMA, right? Let's say you do, you do grappling, right? Like uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And, you know, like, wow. And it's, it's a very, it's kind of like a secret weapon. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, right? Like, if you, and, and wait, who said this again? It was Jocko Willings. He said this. He said that Jiu-Jitsu is like having a superpower, right? And it is to, to, to a certain extent. Like, if you, if, if you practice Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for like six months, a year, and then you could really handle a guy that's bigger and stronger than you, but doesn't have any, any grappling experience, right? Like if you get him to the ground, you can, you can, ha you can manhandle him, you know? And it's, it's pretty impressive the way you can, you can do it. And that guy will have no idea what hit him. But that being said, even though it's a very effective martial art on the ground and that you practice it and that you might feel that, you know, you might like feel like a warrior. And yes, you are, right? To a certain extent, but you have to keep in mind, like being humble is 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 when you realize that you're not invincible. You know, like all it takes is, like I said, you know, like you could die in so many ways, 
and you can get your ass kicked in so many ways too. And remember, no matter how good you are, even if you're the best in the world, like I said, you can still die. And so that's why I think something that's important in martial arts is to cultivate this humility, right? And of course, when you train, you have to be humble and you have to train and stuff like that. If you're competing, yes, you have to be uh, confident and and that's where you have to think in your head, like you have to have that mentality of that, you know, you're the best and you're gonna win at that moment, right? But other than that, like in everyday life, like you gotta stay humble, man. So a lot of guys, like I feel as though because they practice a art, maybe like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu art, like a combat, com combat sport type of art that, you know, that's used in MMA, they, they maybe get a little bit too, uh, um, too high, on their horse, so to speak, to they, they, they get the impression that they're they're um, not invincible, but kind of, you know. And and I don't think that's a good thing. I mean, whatever you do, like it's it's important to keep that in mind, in context, in your head. That no matter how good you are, you'll never. You no matter how strong you are, you'll never be stronger than let's say. A, uh, a bull, right? A full, full, fully grown bull. And no matter how fast you are, you'll never be fast as, um, you know, I don't know, let's say even a dog, like my dog, he could outrun like, you know, Hussein Bolt, it doesn't matter, you know? So, you know, so I, I hope that kind of makes sense, guys, but this is just something that I want to discuss with you guys, like what do you guys think? Is humility important, not important? Do some people take it too far? Have you guys seen that? You know, do you guys, um, have you guys been a victim of that too? Because I've been a victim of that too. At one point where I would, uh, you know, when I started practicing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, bad, I thought I was like, oh, invincible. And it, and it, it got to my head a little bit. I'm like, man, this stuff, nobody knows it. And, and you know, it really works and da 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 But, you know, I'm older now and, uh, and, and with enough, uh, time and training and stuff like that you know there's levels to the game so even in your sport there's levels to it there's always somebody stronger and even if you were the strongest the best in your sport i mean you know you're not invincible that's what i'm saying so that's i think it's important to cultivate so what do you guys think let me know down below you know um important not important have you you know maybe examples of it where maybe you've been like that before and maybe, or maybe do you find in certain, uh, maybe where you train, you know people like that who are a little bit, uh, a little bit, how do you say it? Their egos are a little bit overinflated because they're practicing a, uh, you know, a, a certain martial art, you know, that, that really, that works, but you know, anyways. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope that was, uh, that's just my opinion and Hope you guys enjoyed that. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Of course, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Sharing is caring. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.